This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Bossom. I've got Catherine Robinson with me. It's been a while since you've been here. It has been. Yes, yeah. you are with the Leeds Grenville and Lanark District Health Unit. You are a speech language pathologist, and you're also the manager of Language Express. That's correct. That's right. That's right. It's been a while since you've been here. Mm -hmm. uh, like I want to say about five or six years. years. So, yeah. how long have you been with the health unit? Um, with Language Express for more than twenty years. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow, excellent, excellent. So you are here because May is Speech and Hearing Month as well, too. So we want to bring some attention to that and bring some awareness to that as well, too. So can you tell us a little bit about Language Express? Yeah, so Language Express is the preschool speech and language program for Atlantic Leeds and Grenville, as you mentioned. And we provide free service for children from birth to junior kindergarten for anyone who has any concerns about um, speech, language, and communication development. All right, so what, what are your messages during Speech and Hearing Month? The main message would be uh, refer early, get help early for your kids. Um, we know, especially right now, this is important because we know that during the pandemic, there was a ki kids who grew up during the pandemic, which is a lot of our, our age range now, are, are now you know two and three years old, and um, they didn't have all the same opportunities to get out in the community and right. interact and participate right. in things that they might have before the pandemic or now. And so we are seeing some, um, some difficulties, some delays with those kids more than before. So, so we especially want to get that message out that it's really important to check on your child's communication development. So we, we just like to encourage everyone to, if you have a, a baby or a toddler or a preschooler in your life, to, to, to check to make sure that their communication development is on track and if it's not, to get some help. And absolutely, during COVID too, because so many times we were talking earlier that mm -hmm. these referral, there's not even a referral because people can go in and they're they, on their own, they don't need a referral. But sometimes they go there because uh, they were at a play group or because a doctor or mm -hmm. somebody else has said, maybe you should get them checked. During COVID, people weren't even going to these, so. Yeah, well, uh, and I wonder if that's part of it, you yeah. know, is that people just didn't have the same opportunities to see other children mm -hmm. and to see sort of what's typical for a child at that age. But also just kids didn't have those opportunities to play with other children and yes. so on like like they do now. Yeah. That's right. So how can parents check their children? So it's really easy. You go to our website, which is uh, language-express.ca, and we have something on there called the Communication Checkup. And it's a, uh, a screener that screens um, at six month intervals from birth to age four. It asks questions about speech and language development, communication development, and also about sort of global developmental milestones. So then a, uh, a parent or a grandparent or anybody mm -hmm. can complete that and get an idea of whether um, they should be concerned about their child's development and, and if so, uh, sort of what, what their options are to do. So. Um, parents can refer directly online at the when they get to the end of that questionnaire there's an opportunity to um, refer directly to language express and and get on our list um, or or if uh, people prefer they can also call our office and um, speak to a person if they have other questions or would like to make their referral in person I know I, I, I speak from experience as well too mm -hmm. I, my grandson I was telling you earlier he went to language express and he does amazing now but yeah he was struggling when he was little and my daughter went over and it got some tips for her as well as how mm -hmm. to you know teach him to speak cl clearer and that, that's a lot of what we do because the children are so young that we work right. with we're mostly working with parents and caregivers to um, give them ideas and strategies and uh, provide them with um, activities that they can do with their children to make a big difference because they're the ones who are with their kids all the time. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so um, what if your child needs to be referred for services from Language Express? So first thing to be aware of is that there is a cutoff date because we're a preschool program. So um, we accept referrals up to September the 1st of the year the child starts JK. So that means for kids born in 2019, the last date to refer is September 1st of 2023. So kids who will be starting JK this coming September need to be referred. Okay, so now you work with children, we're talking speech and, and hearing month is, is, mm -hmm. is the month of May too. So you work with children who have trouble with speech but can still hear well, but also with children who have hearing difficulties. Right, so we also work with children who have permanent hearing loss and need help developing their speech and language skills. Those children are, are usually identified through the infant hearing program um, and then, then they come to us once 
once we know that they do have a hearing loss. But if parents have concerns about whether their child is hearing well, um, they should definitely check that out too. And the best place to start is with their family doctor or nurse practitioner and ask for a referral for a hearing test. Or they can also call the Southeast Infant Hearing Program and get some information about how to get their child's hearing tested. Okay, and, and then you were mentioning earlier that you have a checklist as well about speech on your website. Yeah, yes. yeah, so on our website we have this communication checkup. We also have just a, a web page where you can just sort of read if you want about what's typical at different ages. And then we have all these um, printed resources as well that uh, it'll give um, give the uh, expectations for different ages and some information and tips for parents as well. So there are lots of resources and I would encourage anyone who has any questions to call our office. It's 888-503-8885 uh, and um, I if you're wondering should I refer or not or you know does my child really um, need help, um, just call and talk to someone. We're happy to sort of hear your story and give you some advice about whether to uh, whether to refer and where to get some help. Or even um, maybe speech and language is not really what you need support with, but maybe there are other things um, that you're looking for support with, and we have a lot of information about other programs in the community as well. And, and you're a great resource too, because even if a parent or a grandparent, whoever, whoever mm -hmm. a caregiver, is just having some questions and wondering. Absolutely, yeah. You're a great we support calls for them. Like that. That's right, that's yeah. right. And where are you located? So we, um, our main office is here in Smith Falls, but we also have locations in uh, Brockville, Gananoque, Kempville, Carlton Place, uh, Perth, and Lanark. All right, and you're yeah. the manager of Language Express too. How many staff have you got? We have um, a combination of full-time and part-time people that adds up to about 18. Mm -hmm. um, speech language pathologists and communicative disorders assistants and some administrative staff too who help with our intake and uh, managing our, our waiting list which is important to mention because we do have a wait list so it's another good reason, important reason to refer early. Okay. So you know, refer early and if by the time your child's name comes up on our wait list you're not worried anymore, that's fine, but at least you're on the list. Excellent, Excellent. Yeah. that's going to be one of my questions. How mm -hmm. many children are you serving right now, but if you've got mm. a wait list? Um, usually we have about seven or 800 active wow. clients on our caseload and about four to 500 new referrals every year. So it's a lot, a lot of families looking for help and, and that's great. That's great, yeah. that is awesome. That is good people are reaching out and getting the help they need mm -hmm. to. So. I appreciate everything you do and thank you very much for coming here today too and uh, bringing some more awareness to Speech and Hearing Awareness Month too, So, uh, which is the month of May. So, uh, You've been over 20 years working at the health unit, mm -hmm. that's right, that's right, as a speech pathologist and you're the manager of Language Express. So thank you very much for joining us today. Don't wait so long to, until c to come back next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a pandemic in there. Yes, there? there was, that's <laughs> right, that's right, that's right. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you.